teamwork in Google Sheets and Looker Studio. This is super easy topic, but anyway, it's important to know. Hey, my name is Gala, I'm Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. Let's start with Google Sheets. On the right corner of your document, you have a share button. This button will be the same in Slides, Word, or Google Sheets. So, a same interface for all Google Cloud document. When we click Share, uh, we have a pop-up window with our document title. Here we have a row where we can add our uh, uh, people with whom we want to work together on these documents. Just type email, like my gmail, gmail, that, anyway. Uh, when we add email, we can change permission. We can uh, make this user viewer, commenter, editor, and some expiration. Um, but I think it's some really rare stuff and I don't use it actually. Uh, then we can notify or don't notify people, depend on the case, and can add a specific message for our email. When we want to notify people, this person will receive an email. Uh, also, we have this copy link uh, button and uh, after that link to the document copied and we can pass it to message to this person and send uh, this person direct message. If we come back, uh, we can see a list of people who has access uh, for who have access for this document. Uh, all of them, they have different permissions. Uh, they could be owner, editor, or viewer. Also, we have uh, in the button of this window, we have general access. Um, anyone with the link could be viewer, commenter, or editor. Uh, also, uh, access could be restricted. Uh, in this case, uh, people with link cannot see the document. For this document, I don't mind, because it's special document with some formulas. And here is fine. Uh, again, here in the in the button we have copy link button <coughs> that we can use to share this document with other people, and just click done when we finish. Basically, if we move to Looker Studio, we have almost same options here. In the view mode, let's move to the view mode. We have share button here as well, uh, but with little triangle. Let's see what we have here. Uh, when we share the document, more or less we have the same pop-up uh, with uh, this icon. If you click to this icon, we have two special checkboxes. Prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. So if we select this checkbox, so uh, only owner of the document can add people and uh, it, new people and change access type. Mm. Only owner can. If we don't use this checkbox, every user with editor access can do it. Also, we have disable downloading, printing, and copy for viewers. Uh, in this case, if you don't want that viewer can download your dashboard, you can use this checkbox. Download or copy. I think this is important. Uh, and here we can add um, users one by one to our dashboard with two levels of rights, viewer and editor. We don't have co uh, commenter here. Um, also, we have link settings as the same, almost the same logic as Google Sheets. We have um, restricted, so nobody can access uh, document except people from who you added one by one. Um, this is my company, so first level restricted. Second level, only people from your company have access to this document. Then unlisted, uh, so you cannot Google this document, but uh, if you share a link, a user can open this document or public. In this case, everybody can find your document and open by link. And in this case, you can find it somewhere, I don't know in Google. Uh, when we, for example, select my company, uh, again, we have viewer and editor access and we have copy uh, copy link button that we can use. 
And that is it actually, nothing complicated here. Um, yeah, let me know if you have questions. Um, if you want to learn more about uh, Looker Studio and Google Sheets, subscribe to my channel. If you want to go deeper to Looker Studio, check link below this video and you find link to my online course about Looker Studio where you can learn more about this instrument. Hope you like this video and bye bye.